Depending on our environment, we may need to go through the steps of configuring Outlook before we can use it, or we may have the luxury of just being able to open it up and be ready to go. It is necessary for someone to configure an account before we get to the more fun stuff, but we do eventually get to the fun stuff, and usually it's sooner rather than later. One of the things most of us like to do fairly early on as we get started with new computers or new software is to personalize it to look the way that we want or need it to. For Outlook, the setting is fairly straightforward. It's called the background and theme. Office 23 has gone to a minimalist look, which we won't take time to debate here whether it's necessarily a good change or not. It is what it is. And what it does is add a subtle texture to the background of our applications. It's most visible in applications like Outlook on the upper right corner of our screen. We access that setting by actually accessing the file tab or the backstage. So we'll go ahead and give that a click or a tap, and we're going to come down and we're going to click or tap Office Account. Now, wait just a second. We thought we were all done configuring accounts, right? Well, we are, but for Office 2013, which is designed to work with cloud services like the Office web apps, as well as cloud storage like SharePoint or SkyDrive accounts, most of the settings for Office applications are done once and then shared across all of the applications. So it's now part of the account that we used to set up and configure Office. Changes we make here will actually apply to all of our Office 2013 applications. So with that said, in the Office account selection, we'll simply move to the middle panel and we see an entry for Office background. And currently we have no background. From the drop-down, we can select very subtle textures. They're not like a wallpaper or anything. They really are very subtle. We also don't have a preview, so you'll have to kind of figure them out by selecting them, seeing if you like it, and if not, coming all the way back in. But I think we can get over that. I think what we'll go ahead and do is select Doodle Circles. And while we're here, we also want to choose an Office theme. This should not be confused with the Office themes that we see in the formatting toolbars of things like Word and PowerPoint. This is much more subtle. Here we simply have a choice of three colors. It's not about special effects. It's not about font sets. It's simply about white, light gray, or dark gray. And it does add more contrast. We'll go ahead and choose dark gray. With that, there is nothing to click like an OK or save. We simply need to get out of the backstage view by clicking the left arrow at the top left side of the screen. And as they say, voila, it's very subtle. I promised you that. But if you look carefully, we can now see a little bit more contrast between some of our screen elements. And if we look along the upper edge, especially on the right, here are the wonderful doodle circles that we selected as our particular background. As I said, it is subtle and often we may not even notice it. But that's part of the design goal of Office 2013, to have everything in a subtle, minimalistic presence. And I think they actually accomplished exactly that with the background and the theme in Outlook 2013.